you can easily expect eight or nine lakhs rupees of package easily you can get it if you have a three plus year experience you can expect uh, 15 plus and uh, you have uh, like my type of experience and you can expect uh, uh, 20 plus so hi ajay welcome to our career catalyst podcast we are really happy to have you as a guest here so a little introductions of course we know that you have over seven years of experience as a splunk administrator so uh, can you just tell us and the audience is really excited to know what is actually a splunk administrator uh first i will give you introduction like of i course. have uh, my name is Rishi and uh, i have uh, seven years of experience uh splunk sre and most of the stuff and uh, come to your question uh, splunk but splunk is like to have a vast uh, opportunities instead of opportunity what is a splunk i can explain you on a basic language this is an analytical tool that will allow you to uh, analyze your logs and big data stuff. So this is the pretty layman language term, so anyone can understand. So if you want to analyze and visualize your logs, you can use it, this tool. And why it is beneficial? Because this is have a first mover advantages. The Splunk have a very, like lots of feature in terms of like all the, in terms of security, in terms of, uh, Network management and in terms of like you can name it and it support various type of source type and all. So it is a big tool. And uh, on the for a Splunk admin, Splunk admin also have a couple two parts. One is a system admin and uh, another one is a data admin. So I'm basically mostly working on the my system admin part. So I managing the infrastructure side and uh, some of the pieces i mean it's a uh, data side also but uh, those are not our priorities to work on the data admin side because mm-hmm. admin have uh, limited because you are the admin you are not going to help the customer to build something they want to build a dashboard you can educate them you can help them but you will not help uh, entirely from scratch like mm-hmm. this is the way it's done for them. This is the admin role. It's actually okay. So a lot of uh, you know people they are confused that they take Splunk as a data analysis role only. So what's the defining you know boundary between a Splunk admin and a Splunk you know analyst like in layman language? Because a lot of people they don't understand technical jargon, right? So how would you define in just a single line that yeah, this is the difference? uh they are probably right and probably wrong like uh, say data analysis like we have to analyze data then we use the splunk they are right and we are analyzing logs and all so that is one of the functionalities provided by splunk apart from that Splunk have also real-time monitoring of uh, their data so this is different aspect so this is different like real time like if you have example if you have uh, have opened your uh, Amazon account and like uh, we want to buy something and you find it out one of the laptop prices rated down mistakenly rated down 5,000 instead of 50,000 mm-hmm. and you got uh, lots of traffic on that multiple persons are ordering 5,000 laptop and how you got to know Plunk will alert you if you have sought to stick it more alert you got like this is the traffic where it's going then you under the need you find it out oh you have mistakenly do these things so you can prevent these things like uh, you are uh, real time you are monitoring your data so you got this input and after that you can uh, action on that can you actually tell how did you become a splunk admin so what has been your struggles how did you break in the industry uh, like we would love to know that uh I have like I have started my career in Splunk actually. When I joined one of the organization, this is my first organization where I joined. There are they working with Splunk actually, and most of the work is done on Splunk. Uh, mm-hmm. They are based on and the only. Uh, for that, uh, after the college pass out, we are not we are like famous like we always learn like we want to learn java we want to learn python and all this type of stuff in our mind 
we never think like we can learn as long as we can build our future and that we never think like that but right. uh, after the joining it and they offered me like either of the two open things uh, again you can join as a python or java side also or you can check with this and i i am more not sure what to what to choose and after i asked my manager like what to choose and that and he said like don't go with the flow everyone is going on java and all side Mm-hmm. to choose the different path and he asked me to choose this one so i have choose the splunk and uh, after a few months we got uh, after that like i have joined as in splunk and that time i got a project as in uh, splunk i was actually working with splunk as a contractor okay uh, directly splunk to splunk actually. i have a sre role at that time so we managing the infrastructure and uh, the splunk cloud customers splunk have a different different type of enterprise like there are on premise they will give you the software you have to install on your servers this is one of the way other they will also provide software as service they will manage the entire infrastructure you have to just pay for that whatever you are ingesting and whatever the infrastructure you are using it so in that way this things are offered by splunk So let's circle back to your educational background. So, like you know, uh, what what were you exactly pursuing in your you know bachelor's degree? So that you know, we can get a just a. Uh, I have uh, I have done bachelor's BCA, then after I done my master's MSc IIT, okay. then uh, from a college fresher I got uh, college expedition. Okay. So uh, a lot of viewers they actually want to know: Can they switch from a non-technical background to Splunk directly, or is there a fixed pathway to do that? Like, how can it do uh, that? Yeah, because uh, non-technical can uh, crack this one because you can see uh, uh, you are coming out of a college and uh, you don't have experience of any of these things. Mm-hmm. we when i joined that time like i used to use a windows only we everyone uses windows mm-hmm. first time we have to introduce ourselves with linux then after we have to like some little bit python then after we have to go to splunk so linux is basic so a little basic or more it's fine there is no need to do certification on that okay. uh, and uh, after that you can jump on splunk and that will be easy so okay, it so, is not mm-hmm. hard All right. So what you are uh, saying is, if someone is handy with Linux, they can easily transition their career in Splunk. Yeah, definitely. And this is the easiest path, and uh, okay. this is the best path they can choose it because mm-hmm. most of the tool around the Splunk, so uh, whichever is the competitor of Splunk, they have similar functionality. Okay. So if you know easy tool, this is the easiest tool to install and and everything. So, if you know this function and features, how it's working, and what is the purpose of this, so you can accommodate yourself with any of it, regardless of which tool are. All right. So, like, what are the potential job opportunities in this Splunk industry that you know people can apply for? Yeah, a that is one like different different uh, roles are available. Splunk admin, which I am mm-hmm. currently working. Splunk developer also is that. also mm-hmm. there is one uh, premium role ps consultant professional services that is offered by the splunk architecture role that is designing of uh, splunk architecture how to build what is the size of uh, uh, servers are and row is ram and all this like building architecture of uh, splunk splunk have different different type of architecture is supported mm-hmm. so these are the role and also one role for security side like enterprise security that is one separate module of splunk or itsi is or like two three modules different modules of splunk that have a different path and different certification for that uh, enterprise security is for like uh, if you are uh, network security it like this type of thing that time they use it and most of the company are using enterprise security like who have the budget other companies like out of fortune 500 i as i see like i have for i have seen the customer from fortune 500 near about 400 plus customer are using splunk because they are because they can pay for the splunk splunk is a costly tool it is not uh, cheap tool because why it is costly it is after sales support 
and its various uh, uh, support of add-ons and everything is customizable also and it is way secure than uh, expected so that is the why reason why people choose this plan instead of uh, going on uh, some open source all right that was actually insightful ajay so let's address the elephant in the room uh, what's the salary expectation for for a splunk admin or someone who's just you know fresh a splunk admin for a splunk admin for at least if you are landing on a, as a fresher for a job fresh and you have admin certification so you can easily expect 8 or 9 lakhs rupees of package easily you can get it if you have a 3 plus year experience you can expect 15 plus and uh, you have uh, like my type of experience uh, and you can expect uh, and uh, two series uh 20 okay. plus okay so that's uh, so that's actually quite wonderful so uh, the last question i uh, would like to ask you is like what's the advice that you will give to aspiring splunk administrators uh splunk is like if you want if you go to the devops side or sre side that time you have to learn uh, any of the logging monitoring tools or analytical tools so i always prefer go with the splunk that is easy and it will help you with uh, everything and basic concept would be cleared out here then after you can move to other tool regardless of it is uh, because everywhere has a competition so splunk competitor are also in the market then you can go in that check like those two then you will find the difference like uh, splunk is way easy and way more feature than the other competitor so always start with the splunk that is easy and everything is available you can do anything uh, because uh, a documentation and support is are easily available if you are stuck with uh, some of the situation mm-hmm. you can ask their uh, support they will help you for that even this is about this and like very good after sales they have very good support if you want to build something on that they have also credit for that also like uh, they give us like according to it is charging by the license actually splunk license uh, for gb it cost uh, me about like different different it is different different according to your uh, contract with uh, splunk company that uh, will be charged by the per gb and how long your contract so okay. this is the way it is work and uh, once you join as an admin your two three roles are there uh, one is uh, one of the basic role under the no one tell you in the future it will come to you like uh, you have to save the license license cost because license is the heaviest things and it is costly too much to the customer who were using so under the need they are not basically talking about as of now license they will definitely talk about in future one or two year later they will think like if we are spun license this to possibly <laughs> because mm-hmm. itself it's costly just because of its feature and all and uh, you have to manage their infrastructure and make it uh, as robust as fast as reliable these are the things you have to take in care and this is the best path you can choose because uh, it's due to easiness you can start with linux and you can go more to splunk now to the how two three things now you want to do different two three paths like uh, if you go with the enterprise security path like it's like uh, job of uh, any cyber security expert if you are uh, like you can uh, i can say in a basic lame and name example like you are a company is uh, shutting down okay like if your physical company is shut down you have then you will not remove your uh, watchman job watchman job would be secure because why it is managing security stuff so this is the security stuff it will always secure jobs so mm-hmm. don't fear about that much security because we have a security is always it is the last impact jobs so job security is also there so these are the things you can consider while you choosing the path yeah that was actually quite helpful thank you so much ajay thank you for your time it was really amazing talking to you thanks a lot